I'll explain it again for better understanding. Our idea is we are using DB output value for information to retrieve information that are not possible to be retrieved from the form on which we are working on. We, if we like to retrieve that information from the DB, we can use database output value. In database output value, the first and foremost important thing is we need to have a connection string established. Connection string is nothing but DSN. DSN is nothing but the session name that we give for our system, in our system, to connect the database using QTP. That session name can be created using ODBC connection. This is base requirement. Once that is session name is created, we are trying to create the script. We have created the script. Then we frame the query. To frame the query, we use following things. I use the output value. I use the database output value. In this, I specify the query and that query I specified for which DB that is I am already having a session and that session is the online QTP. For using this DB, I am choosing the query. For writing the query, you should know two things. One is what is the table name that you are trying to access and what is the column name that you want to filter. I am using now query select star from orders. Orders is the table name. If I don't know, I need to enquire and then get the table name. You cannot know without going through the DB structure. If I don't know the field name, at least I can put select star from orders, finish. You can see all the order numbers are listed below. You can get the column name from here as well. So I now know what is the column name. Now my aim is not this. I, my aim is to retrieve the agent name from that column called agent name. I again go to output value, database output value, specify query, next I choose create, machine data source, online QTP, I choose this. Now I select star from orders where order underscore number, this is the column name, I cannot change the column name, equals I given the initially I given 167. This 167 is now the hard coded value. I like to give the order number that is generated through the system then it becomes a dynamic query. To how to pass that dynamic order number is what we are going to see. So because it was hard coded that you can see it in the left hand side of DB. Once the DB created, you can see there are two objects. One is DB table object, another is checkpoint. Output is the method. So in the checkpoint, if I go to the output value properties, it shows me from which object I retrieved the value, where I stored the value. I can have multiple column selection. Each column can be a table row as well. Once that is configured, now what I am doing a query from which DB I am doing a query that is on the left hand side DB table object. In DB table object I have three important properties. One is called source property, another is called unique ID, third is called connection string. Connection string is nothing but DSN connection, the name that you have given. Source is the property holding the query. Now this source property I want 167 to be changed to 1 the current order number that it generates. Then only I get the exact name of the agent for that order. So to do that first I after insert order I need to retrieve the order number. I need to use a wait statement or I can use a synchronization point. Now I use a wait statement. I need to retrieve the order number to a variable, insert, 
step generator which object i need to retrieve i need to retrieve that object is not available in the repository i use the hand symbol place the hand symbol onto the object from which i need to retrieve the order number i choose order number i now set the operation what is that you want to do i want to get ro property i can use get ro property i can use get visible text which property i want to retrieve text is the property i want to retrieve because text is the property holding the order number where you want to store the order number i want to store it on to variable v underscore name of the field o number i have now retrieved it next is i need to form the query because the source property i need to change the entire query so i say query equals v underscore query because it's a variable v underscore query i frame the text query text select star from orders because i am going to use set to property set to property changes the entire source property value not part of the value so i am framing the text select star from orders where order underscore number equals concatenation operator then v o number now i frame the query since it is equivalent to the dynamic object management source is the property i am dynamic and that dynamic i am passing it through set to property why can't i use regular expression because query i need to pass the value i cannot pass a i cannot ignore the pattern so i cannot use a regular expression i am forcing myself into set to property now i frame the query i need to pass the query into the source property to pass the query into the source property if you know the command you can type in otherwise use insert step generator under step generator which object i need to manage i need to work with db table object what is the operation that you want to do under db table object i want to set the property of the db table object which attribute you like to set i like to set now so called <coughs> source the name i am giving here is an attribute is nothing but the name that i have seen in the db table object using right click db table so source is the property what is the value i want to set v underscore query is a variable i want to pass it inside the value so once i have done this i say okay now i am setting before that object is executed i am setting the value of the source property you can see now i am going to line number 17 i am choosing the db table right click object properties under this object properties i can see now description properties is source and this source is what is holding the query i should not use text because text is for some other object whereas for this db table object source is the property and that property i want i frame the entire query now i am passing that query into the db table object here the query is in string i need to remove the quotes because i i want v query to be act as a variable not as a string now i have set it for your understanding i want to retrieve before setting i want to retrieve see the source property value and after setting i can use db table within bracket get to property which property i give source property source property is what i want to retrieve i put it under message box source property is what i want to use right 
then after setting I use again message box msg box db table db table object dot get to property again source right so now I have used message box before setting and after setting let us see whether it effectively runs I run the script it executes now so that you understand what happens behind so it types it inserts the order it waits because we have used a definite wait definite wait it waits for 8 seconds 169 is the order number and that 169 is now stored onto VO number then query framed text is passed onto the query before setting the value into the source property this is the value select star from orders where order underscore number is 167 I now I am setting the value after setting the value now you can see the message box it is now doing with the query 169 now this query is what DB table will execute at line number 19 now he cleared the object object not visible he cleared it now he executes now that query automation results so in results it has failed because there are two error window appeared because of that it has failed that is our mistake so I don't want to worry about output DB table I'll go to data table now you can see mercury in that output data table so data table is storing the current order numbers value the reason for this because we have dynamically changed the value of the property in the DB table since we are able to change it he is able to retrieve it and then use that value here this is what we have seen under output value I redo it, rerun it after changing the so flight reservation. I close it. I open the flight reservation. Say I keep now a different name. QTP online is my name. Password Mercury. Since we got the error before, I am moving the screen to the right so that QTP window doesn't get affected I run the script now you notice now it retrieves the order number it sets the value and then frames the query sets the value to the DB table object and DB table uses that query inside the script Now it is name property, insert order, so now 170 is the order number, QTP online is our username, 170 is retrieved, frame the text, message box before the query is set, that is 167, this is what TO means test object property that is nothing but repository value property next setting the value after setting the value it retrieves it it is 170 so I now clear the screen no issues now DB table retrieve the output I go to automation result You can see now after it retrieves it is passing the value so 
so you can see now under data table you can see now QTP online is shown QTP online is the current order numbers agent name that is shown now in the script so that is how he retrieves the agent name right so this is about database output value